Hey guys, what is up? It's Darren here. So, I haven't really made a RuneScape 3 video yet since the day of release, except for my live stream. So, I thought I'll make a quick video explaining what RuneScape 3 exactly is and showing my layout of my interfaces. So, first up, RuneScape 3. A lot of people seem to think it's a totally new game. Well, it's still the old game, but with some rework stuff, such as the interfaces, the website, the music. So, that is kind of RuneScape 3, and then obviously another big part of it is moving to the 6th age. Because previously we were stuck in the 5th age, but now the game has progressed. And as you can see, there's the god Zamorak fighting against the other god Serdomin, who is on the other side. So, first up, the website. The website looks way better now. I never really liked the old one. It was too crowded, too much things on the website, and it was really laggy as well. So, this one is now way smoother and way cleaner so I really like that then we also have the new seasonal high scores which are really awesome so like who gets the most solo Zilliana kills and those change every two weeks I believe so that's awesome or three weeks I don't know I'm not sure about that then the new music the new music is so much better I think a lot of people now actually started listening to the music as well it's totally reworked with an orchestra and everything with a band and I believe they reworked about 300 songs in the game out of the 950 and if you log in be sure to turn up your volume and go to Longbridge or Feldor that's where you hear it and it sounds so awesome it's really good music especially when you log in like it gives you actually goosebumps so then the third thing is obviously the interfaces so they made the interfaces now totally customizable so you can drag make stuff bigger so wait, if I unlock mines I can make this bigger now if I want to but I don't really want that bigger so yeah, that's a huge part, I think, that's the biggest part uh, change of this update when Runescape 3 came out. Obviously then the other thing, or the last thing, is the graphics. So they have still got the HTML5 in the beta because it's not ready yet. And it shouldn't go officially live until like it's totally or almost bug free and glitches free. But I've got some footage, uh, I can show you that later. So the graphics do look amazing in the HTML5. Anyway, so my setup, as you can see, I've got I've got kind of the old school style. My having my action bar at the top of my chat bar. Then here we have got the private chat, friend chat, and all the other chats, emotes, and then I put here my music playlist and my stats, because I don't really need to look at my stats all too often, because I know I'm 99 of them, or what XP is. I just put them in this tab here. So then I've got here my three ability books, well four if you include this uh, melee one and the range one so I've got here my magic prayer book or my uh, ability book here my defense one and here my range and melee one so this is really useful for PVMing if I'm PVMing and using multiple styles I can easily like just click or like go down with my mouse and click on the spell or like abilities and not having to go through 10 different options interfaces to get to that ability so then I've got the old school uh, layout here with the inventory, the prayer abilities, the equipment, the French chat info. So I might maybe change the prayer spells to put them maybe here on the left top, but I'm not sure yet. Since uh, we've got now quick uh, inventory key, so here you can assign a A and B quick inventory key. So let's say I've got a prayer potion on there and a rock tail on there. I can use them through my action bar as you can see here you, if I click number two or number three it's my key bite I can easily drink, drink the potion without having to go to my inventory if you're PVMing this is really useful or either rock tail so I'm barely having my backpack open now unless I need to switch items so that's why I have the uh, prayer book as well in the same interface so like I hardly open my backpack anymore and if I need to open my backpack I just press B since F keys don't work now but you can assign a lot of different keys to your uh, interfaces so if you go to escape you open the options menu and then you go to interface settings here you can uh, put on these options slim window skins is a really good one if you haven't got it on be sure to turn it on so as you can see here mini map backpack it's a pretty big bar and if you click that it all goes away and makes your screen a bit smoother so this well this one as well hide title bars when locked then here you can lock it and then it makes it even more slimmer so that's really awesome then here you can put in the transparency i don't really ha like to have it all that transparent because the chat is a bit annoying then so i'll put it like on half so yeah then here you have got a lot more options you can easily access these options and just look get a look through and read them all through 
Then here at controls, here you can pretty much customize everything you want. So you even got a quick pray now. So if I press P, I'll uh, use my quick prays. Instead of having going to this um, icon here, you can just press pre or whatever you want. So here are all the other options. Be sure to like give them a look through and use the ones that are useful to you. So for example, I've got my backpack on B because yeah, backpack started to B. So I remember that easily. Then equipment, well, that's random one. So yeah, that's really easy to access. So if I press N, I go to my equipment, B to my backpack, and then five is for my prayers, and P is for my quick prayers. So that's really easy. So this makes PVMing a lot easier as well and more interactive, instead of having going to go through ten different interfaces. Anyway, so this is my layout, guys. Um, if you like it, you can copy it as well. Alright, so the world event is a event that you can do daily or participate daily in by gathering divine tears for your god. So you have to choose a god that's either Zamrock or Saradomin, and you help them by collecting divine tears. So you can get them by skilling from resources such as this rock, or you can also get them by killing the other team's NPC. So I am for Zamrock and I need to kill then the Saradomin. Warriors, so if you kill them you also get divine tears, but you also get metal fragments and if you got thousand fragments and a Part of a weapon drop you can make a cosmetic override like I have now This is a infernal bow for the Zamrock part and it looks really cool So it's an override for the Salmon and you don't have to pay for it You just need to kill a lot of uh, warriors and get 1000 metal fragments so basically the world event is a bit boring as only thing you do is collect these tiers and there isn't really much to it but each week it changes so they add new things with battlefields such as new NPCs and new random events so that's pretty cool but for now it seems a bit boring and once you get your 300 tiers daily you can get uh, or you can buy rewards from it in the reward store like the NPC guy. And you can buy a new armor set, up to now you can only buy the boots and gloves, but in a few weeks you can buy the legs, helm and the, pretty much the full set. And the set seems to be pretty good, I'm not all too sure what it does now, but um, I heard it's like a hybrid set and that it negates damage like a, a, a thing you to do, elision. So that's pretty cool, then you can also buy new emotes from the points, so like you get points by collecting divine tears and giving them to do god to vote. So with the modes, it's also pretty cool as you can unlock higher tiers of well, as well later on. So this is tier 1 and I think the latest tier 3 I think that is, is going to be really epic mode as well. Anyways guys, that's for the world event. Um, this world event will stay for around 10 weeks I believe. Then another world event will happen and then we will see new gods. So the future content also is going to be decided on who wins. So let's say Saradome will win, then um, the future content will be based on him. So it, it does make a big impact in the game, as people don't think it does now, but it's gonna have a big impact in the future once the gods have, well, which god has won then. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the world event.